Hello Capricorn, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe for daily Capricorn readings and comment down below. Let me know where you're watching from. Drop your birthday and your sun, moon, rising. Capricorn, today we're going to take a look at what it is that you don't see coming. Please remember on this channel and my second one, which is linked down below in the description box. The only thing that I ask for you to do is obviously like, subscribe, but mainly it is to use your common sense. Okay, these are not personal readings. I don't know you. Okay, don't, don't force it if it's not for you. Capricorn, what you don't see coming. Ooh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, Capricorn. King, Ace, Queen of Fire. The Ten of Cups. Okay. The Seven of Swords. Tens. Four of Wands. Eleven, Eleven, Make a Wish. King of Pentacles. Capricorn, I want you to come in real close. What you didn't see coming is looking like somebody who's emotionally mature, Ooh. financially stable, mm. looking for a relationship, attractive. Ugh. Somebody's got it together, Capricorn. Somebody's got it together. Can't be entertaining these clowns no more. No, no, ma'am. No, sir. Always shout out to the men that are tapped in. Uh, but Capricorn, there's somebody serious coming forward. Yes, we have Valentine's Day. Yes, <laughs> it's about that time. But those of you that are keeping yourself together, leggings are not your personality. Sweats. Mm -mm. Get a haircut. Get your hair done. Come on now. Put some clothes on. Because you're about to meet somebody. And not only that, Capricorn, this Seven of Swords makes me feel like this is somebody who's kind of had an eye on you for a little minute. Or this is somebody who you may bump into a couple of times, being in the right place at the right time. Positioning is everything during February, baby. Hold on a second, Capricorn. Excuse me, I'm back. Yeah, making sure you're in the right place at the right time, that you're ready so you don't have to get ready. This is one of those things. Love and finances are about to become stable as well as this individual coming in. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Yes, some of you dealing with a water sign person, which you've been seeing a lot of that lately. Lots of Pisces and Cancer, mostly Pisces heavy. Scorpio here. Yes. Scorpio here with the King of Coins, stable. Ooh, not a Scorpio who owns a business. Mm-hmm. But this is somebody looking for marriage, looking for, you know, bringing contracts in. For those of you that it's not resonating for love, but it's uh, more for business personal. There's somebody coming. This, there's a major change coming in February. Come on now. The Nine of Cups here. Justice, big Libra. The Eight of Pentacles, stability. What is it? Little Sagittarius energy with the temperance. Yes. Somebody's hard work paying off. Not just, again, not just in your career, but in your personal life, Capricorn. Things are coming together. Things are getting ready to become very balanced. Very balanced. There's a person that is going to come into your situation, Capricorn. <clears throat> that is going to seriously help you out if you, number one, are prepared for the opportunity and are willing to do the work. And 
And again, I say, with this nine and seven of swords, it makes me feel like somebody who's been watching you, paying attention, keeping tabs on. And really when I think of these nines and tens, watching your growth. Mm. The temperance here, this eight of pentacles. Actually, it didn't come out that way. Just so I remember. Hold on. I repeat, Capricorn, there is an opportunity coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Let me see. A major, I'm telling you, somebody's watching. Somebody's watching. Somebody watched you handle a tough situation or some hard times, Capricorn. And here's this watching and then coming in and bringing an opportunity. When I say somebody watch, who's this person that owes you a favor? Or like you've helped them in the past and so... Here they come offering you something major, an opportunity. The ones for me, 11, 11, that four of wands. And things repeating as I look at the magician, a one, the ace of wands here, a one, and the judgment, two tens. We see two tens, the justice card. The repeating. And also this energy of having everything that you need to make a situation happy. So somebody's watched you create miracles for yourself, Capricorn. Is that indeed what it is? Yo, and is wanting to come and help you out or has watched you and sees that you're everything that they want and or need. It is your... Discipline is very attractive to this person. Or maybe I shouldn't do that. Discipline is very attractive to this person. Your level of discipline. I also feel like the way that you talk is very attractive, whether that's the style or maybe you have an accent. but not just your physical appearance, but how you communicate um, your discipline, attractive. More blessings and opportunities. Happiness, emotional fulfillment. It's the reminiscing of the past as well as new opportunity. This is somebody that you, you will see or have seen multiple times. This is somebody watching you. So this is not a first encounter. This is not a first encounter type of thing. This is somebody watching. Who's this person? Who's this Aries person? Or could have, they could just have horns in general. Aries, Taurus, Capricorn. That is quietly keeping tabs on you, looking for something serious. And, and I feel like looking to quickly commit. Looking to quickly commit. And I repeat, it is how somebody handled a situation or got, how somebody got out of a situation was, is really attractive to them. How you handled the adversity. I'm telling you, how you handle a tough situation tells this person a lot about you. And again, it's the watching. How you handle a tough situation that is thrown at you really impresses somebody. Mm, 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 mm. It could be a situation where you move forward without getting an, getting an apology or ignoring a situation where somebody was being messy and childish. 
toxic, trying to pull you into something. Mm, mm, mm. And the Empress. And we see them all Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, the Horn folks. And um, with handling this situation with grace, grace and strength, here comes this opportunity. Somebody wanting to invest in you. Invest in a serious situation. But I feel like this person is not going to approach. They won't approach you until they've seen you. They've watched you for a little bit. They, they want to get more information for you. Yes. I feel like you're going to be shocked when this person approaches you more than anything. Like, I didn't know you were even paying attention to me type of thing. Yes. Yeah, told, let's talk about somebody being totally caught off guard by this. Because I also feel like this person's going to be all in, again, because they've seen you under pressure. Four lines. The four cut. Mm. Why do I feel like it's your high moral compass? You t I feel like it's you turning, you turning something down. A move of high integrity changed somebody's perspective about you and also had them very interested, wanting to invest, wanting to know more, wanting to see, you know, what does this person have going on? What's really going on here? And I'm telling you, watching from a distance. The way you handled this wild situation stressful, crazy, being isolated. Somebody saw that. Some, and not just saw it, but was paying attention. On how you moved, how you grew. As I, as I mentioned earlier, it's the watching somebody grow, elevate lift themselves up, conquer a situation that had them wanting to know more, but also staying back far enough, the seven showing up now, where they will be able to get a, well, well, how they felt like, a better look of who you are before they were to approach you about this little situation here, about coming together being together, working together, seeing where a situation can go. But there's a serious commitment that is coming out of this. Somebody's very attracted and very impressed by you, Capricorn. The energy of somebody being uh, a total package. A total package being able to handle things on their own. Because what was the situation, Capricorn, that you were being ganged up on? It was you against a whole bunch of people. How you're handling that situation? Have somebody wanted to know more. Again, the the slowly building the courage to come forward, but the solid and stable. Heavy on the mental, mentally stable part of that, but somebody having a lot of potential. I feel like this person... <laughs> this is somebody who's been watching you for a while. Some of you may have even thought that this person was interested, but maybe it was, dang, excuse my alarms. Always something going off. Um, maybe not quite sure, but uh, now that somebody's getting ready to talk, or maybe that now that they're not around others, maybe you work with this person. Um, 
They're wanting to come forward and talk about how they feel. All this water, Pisces, Cancer. Somebody feels like you're exactly what they've been looking for. You're the person that they've been praying for. This person may do a lot of traveling, um, but how you, again, how you quickly maneuvered through a situation, healed and got over it. How you didn't let it break you down. Again, how you handle yourself is attractive. Your emotional maturity drawn in this, this same energy. Somebody saw you get ganged up on Capricorn and now they want to come in and protect you. That's that's what I want to say. And when they decide to come forward, things are gonna things are gonna move very quickly. Shout out to those of you linking up with an Aquarius here, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Heavy on this person watching. Watching to get a clear perspective on who you are, how you really move, how you really are, you know, was that just fake? Was that a one-time thing? Or does Capricorn really have real integrity? Are they really a good person? Man, they handle themselves with that bit. That person really handled themselves really well in a mature way without acting a fool. But also that you're very logical. The fact that you didn't let your emotions get the best of you. Again, get the best of you in that situ in a betrayal situation. Let somebody know. What type of person you are? What type of time you are on? And now we see this person come in with a strong commitment. Taurus, Leo. Somebody's seeing you get done wrong and they're getting ready to come in and try and help you out, Capricorn. When I say that somebody balance is being restored, somebody saw something go down and did not like it. And that wasn't sure. I almost feel like they weren't sure if you were um, soft, Capricorn, or if that was an integrity move. Like, is that really who they are or, or what is that? Oh. Capricorn is not a clown. They're stable. They're solid. They're trustworthy. They're not a, again, a fool. This is somebody who can handle themselves under adversity. This is somebody not only of good character, but that has strength. I want to know what was this, what, I'm dying to know what the situation was. Clearly somebody was tr looking out to embarrass you. Family, somebody tried to embarrass you, make you look bad. And that embarrassing little situation put a spotlight on you in all of the right ways. How you handled that, how you clearly handled that situation was top tier. Let's get into this, this seven of cups. Because how you handled it confused this person. There you go, showing up aloof. You did something that was unexpected and that caught this person's attention. When under this type of pressure, somebody doing all this, somebody in the background, somebody saw you move in a way that was unexpected. unexpected under pressure and that's what that's what turned them on and again how you handled it with grace the way you handled the situation with maturity and grace 
when the opposite was taking place. I, like I said, put a spotlight on you. Put a spotlight on you. That's when somebody got to, got to really feel what was going on with you. Like mm, something's different about Capricorn. Again, the grace, the forgiveness, how you just let it go. Let them go. Let the situation go and kept it moving. Because what took place was public. Why do I feel like that shows somebody that's you, Capricorn, were worth and bet? You were different. You were on a different level. Your moral compass is a little bit higher. You're vibrating a little bit. You're, you're moving different. In a situation where somebody would have either thrown something back in somebody's face or pulled the rug out from underneath them, here you are being solid. It's that solid and holding somebody down, being balanced even when situations aren't, being fair when situations aren't Capricorn is really what has this, per has this person all in. You know how Edgar Allan Poe felt about Annabelle Lee. She was everything, everything. Nobody could hold a candle to Anna Annabelle Lee and everybody was jealous. Google the poem, Annabelle Lee. I'm, I should almost, I should pin it in the comment section, I'll post it. It's one of my, it's my favorite. That's one of these. How you handled a situation like a lady, like a lady or a gentleman. And didn't say anything. Didn't throw this person under the bus. It's got somebody locked in, wanting to know more. And really wanting to get close to you with the Seven of Pentacles. Mm, mm, mm. Stop it. There's a serious relationship coming in in February. That's what you don't see coming. You're about to impress somebody and they're about to keep a little eye on you if they haven't already. I keep an eye here in the background, a, a fight, an argument, a situation that was public. Baby, where they would have handled things totally differently. Let somebody know that, you you know, you may not be for the streets. You may have been around some rats, but you might not, you, you not one, Capricorn. And that's this energy of somebody making you their priority, watching you with the raven. Keeping an eye, understanding that you can handle it, Capricorn. We're not going to drag this one out because we already know what it is. Let me know it resonated for you down below. Please hit the like button. Subscribe for daily Capricorn readings. Drop your sun, moon, rising, and your birth date where you're watching from. And Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.